Welcome to Formbytes, our LaserNet tutorial series. This video will cover how to set up a configuration server. Open the configuration server installer. Click next and then read and accept the terms and conditions of the license agreement. Select a location to download LaserNet 10 and then click next. If you'd like, you may customize which specific features are installed to your machine, but all the necessary features will be installed by default. Click Next and then Install to begin installation. Once this is complete, you may click Finish and close the window. Now we need to log into the LaserNet configuration server. Open your web browser and navigate to https colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 33443 slash lasernet slash config. If you've used a different machine to install the config server, localhost must be replaced with the correct address for that machine. In some cases, you may be presented with a page that tells you your connection is not private. In this case, click on Advanced and then click Continue. To log in, type Admin in the Username field and leave the password field empty. Click Next and you'll be prompted to create a new password. Leave the current password empty and enter a new password of your choosing. Click Next and you'll be brought to the LaserNet configuration page. Now we need to create a new service instance and then import a license for this service. Click on the Start menu and search for the LaserNet License Manager. Open the License Manager. Once the License Manager has opened, you'll be prompted to create a new LaserNet service instance. Choose a name for this service instance. It's recommended you choose a name which indicates the purpose of the instance, whether it's for production or user acceptance testing or for initial testing. But in this case, we'll use the name default. Now choose a port that is unused by anything else. In most cases, you should be able to use the default port 3279. Click OK and the service will be generated along with the client secret. In order to view the generated secret, Click the service you have just added and click on Edit in the top tab. From here, you can copy the secret or generate a new one. Now, select the service instance we have just created and then click Import Demo License. This will bring up a window. Navigate to the location of your LaserNet license. Select the license and click Open. The service instance has now been licensed. The next step is to connect this service instance to the configuration server. With the LaserNet configuration page open, click on Add. Now we need to enter the instance details that we just used in the Server License Manager. In this case, the name is default, the server is localhost, and the port is 3279. If you have a client secret, enter it in the final field. Click OK, and we have now successfully created a server instance. 